Hello everyone and welcome to Vainglory Seed 5 Presented to you by Dash Motion Join Gain Experience Improve Yep, we are just waiting for Outlaws to come in right now Today's game is Outlaw vs Street 41 Two names that you are very very familiar with If you have been watching Seed uh, there is only one game today, sadly, because uh, we are supposed to be seeing Infamous Legion vs Naughty Brava today, but uh, Naughty Brava is not able to make it, so they have disqualified themselves. And then we are supposed to see another Infamous game, which is Infamous Spectre vs Ember, which Infamous Spectre decided to disqualify themselves, and Ember <laughs> wins. Why? <laughs> I just now I thought. Okay, never mind. You thought what? I'm going. Uh, I'm going out against Infamous alone. Yeah, <laughs> I thought. I thought you were like, huh? Ember versus Infamous Spectre. Okay. Nah, I'm not going against them alone. It's Ember as an E M B R. Yeah. I think Baby Celeste skin is like my favorite skin, but I got no chance to buy it. <laughs> The battle for the Halcyon Fold has begun. Yeah, the Baywish Celeste is really pretty. A bell? No, I think it was a triple zero. He knocked he knocked his chair or something. Sounds like it. Not a bell. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, anyway, Street 41 uh, still clearing their jungle. The third healing camp while um, Outlaws already started shopping. Maybe going for an early invade here. The afterburn used by Glaive, going for the Fiend at first. Now going, still still going on the Fiend. Fiend. Potion used by the Fiend, trying to get away as soon as can. Pushed away by the lance. The last rotated down. Ooh, so let's just went down. Finn is still surviving, interestingly. He was the one who was dying all the way, but he survived, but Celeste didn't manage to survive. Yep. So that's really very squishy. So Grave was able to pick her up and uh, now they are just clearing the back camps. A very aggressive gameplay from Outlaws here. The uh, early invades. Interestingly, if I'm not wrong, both teams here are from Singapore. Oh really? Yeah, 341 is from Singapore. I thought 341 was from like Indonesia or something. If I'm not wrong, they are from Singapore. That's what I heard lah. I'm not sure. But I know our loss is from Singapore. Do correct me if I'm wrong guys. People that are listening in this stream. <laughs> I think they are from Singapore if I'm not wrong. Hi Sean. I've been cutting since you know, yesterday. Yeah? I'm looking at the farm from the red side, right? I've just realized that uh although the jungler is lens, right? Finn actually has on DS. Not sure why. Oh, interesting. We see Glee getting uh, cornered. Oh, managed to afterburn our oh, big Catherine is now being cornered here. Oh, Jason is from Malaysia. Well, surprisingly, he's watching the stream. Why is it surprising? Because like, how can you focus on both sides, right? 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I, I kind of can't do that, you know. Hmm. Can't. Oh, maybe when he's just hearing our cast, uh, so it's fine. No, he's replying and stuff, so it's bad. <laughs> Jason, focus on your game, Jason. I would say that most outlaws uh, are from Singapore. I think we have three teams from outlaws this season. We did say that uh, for each guild, you are allowed to send three teams in. So I guess a lot of guilds that are like that have a lot of good players are sending all their teams in, all their good teams in. So yeah, hopefully we see a very good match by the end of this season. Lance is being cornered and Lance does go down killed by the Catherine. Catherine is now being stunned by Celeste. Holy Star, uh, the Glaive is still going for Finn. Managed to grab a lot of Finn's health, but uh, he himself is also really low. Don't think they'll be going back in for fights anytime soon. And anyway, I see Trollo King finally rotated down with a 3000 gold in his pocket. Mm -hmm. Finally, went come down to shop. A bit. Yep, immediately getting the shatter glass. Oh, that's fast. Wow. But normally I thought Lyra go for the alternating current first. Yeah. At least that's what rocks tell me. He rock. says that rock. He says that uh alternate cur alternate current is really good on the Lyra. Yep, especially when uh, you know the reason why she stayed in lane for so long maybe because um Lyra really farms pretty slowly, especially in the early game, due to the slow attack speed. But Shatterglass does provide Lyra with the first damage. A lot of damage from her basic attack already, so it might be worth trying to. Wait, what? anything now. Yeah, you can just continue to talk because they are saying that there is a problem with the audio so I'm going just to check. Okay. So, um, Outlaws are going for the turrets now. Third, I mean the first turret here in lane. And they got it after seven, around 7 minutes off to the match and they are in a 4.2k goal lead. So we actually see Glaive leading a lot um, in farm. Already hold like 64 CS, whereas uh, Lance only has 20 CS. Okay. Yep, the game audio got problem. Is it my, my sound or is it the game audio? No, it's game audio. Anyway, uh, the Eve of Harvest finally picked up from Celeste here, the 8 mini mark. It's a little bit late, I would say. Uh, so Outlaw should really just push the advantage in terms of items and gold here. In a level advantage too. Okay, okay everything is settled now. Basically what happened is, uh, I think they were not taking in the audio properly from the cables. 
So the in the in game audio was stuttering, so all I had to do is plug out and plug back in. Which caused the black screen, so yeah. I'm sorry about the black screen, but it's fine now. Let's just went down killed by the glaive. Glaive is now going for the enemy minion mine. As well as taking down Celeste really easily. Okay, so that was just first down there from Glaive and Lyra combined. Yep, and here comes the ace. Is this the first ace? I think uh, so. Not sure, but uh, they are having a pretty high goal lead now. Around 4k, I would say. And uh, 10 to 1 KD in favor of Outlaws of the Soul. Stars got rooted, but they did not follow up with that move. For the hook from the fin there, grabbing Holy Stars back, but he managed. He tried to afterburn away, but thank war. Left with the last hit, he is running away, not able to jump over, and he dies. He bang war two times in a time frame of ten seconds. He tried to afterburn away into the base of the teleport, but uh, failed. Finally, see the AC on the Lyra. There's a scout trap there. Lyra doesn't know. <laughs> but I feel like, like most of the skull trap in the jungle is on from the blue side. Oh so. yeah, that was the blue <coughs> side. Okay, never mind. Oh my god, I saw the wrong color. Anyway, Glaive is now going down on Finn. I think they will be able to grab him. Yep, there you go. Uh, Celeste is left. Celeste is still trying to stun. Trying to stun, trying to get away. Yep. Celeste is really under level. Yeah, especially when the opponent's team uh The support is level 8, so you are supposed to be as a jungler you should be higher than the support. Yep. And I also would say it's because uh the farming in lane is not that good for Celeste. Uh, she only has 35 minions now. So um might be because she rotated a lot. Good strategy for Street 41 trying to take them out from inside the base, but I don't think they can do that. <laughs> Not exactly. Jason got rooted, no follow up there. And Holy Star is going back in for the fight after burn. Trying to kill, and yep, managed to get Lance. Our team of Celeste good, did nothing much. Good after burn there, knocking Lance outside. And they were. Uh, they managed to finish Lance just before he gets back to the base. We can see that all of... Okay, most of the Team A players, they are like level 12, level 10. With a support of level 9. And the other side, their their jungler just reached level ten, so that is really really bad news. Current KD right now is fifteen to three, goal difference of seven k. Yes, and there is a full goal mine now. Mm -hmm. If they're gonna contest it, <coughs> Katrin just got crucible, and they are going for the goal mine. Yep. Yeah, I would say that uh, going for the gold mine is a very wise choice here because they are in such a huge goal lead. Even if the opponents were to contest it, they will have a higher chance of getting it. At the same time, uh, they can put their opponents in a very bad, bad position. We see the weapon infusion coming into play here. Look at the amount of damage that he is doing onto that team. Celeste basically went down in about 3 hits. After when it's available on Glaive. Turn on to the last and yes, this is another ace for Outlaws. And 
they're gonna push the wave in, get the rain, rain crystal turrets. TB is out, will they be able to at least save the turret? Celeste is going down way too fast. Let's just miss his route there. Lara is in danger, Lara just went down! Holy Star is just going for the crystal right here. Yep, this whole time, while oh, they were very distracted, they uh, keep sitting with crystal and. Ooh, nice, nice! Managed to survive with one hit, not able to finish that crystal. But good job anyway from uh from Glaive. Catherine is coming back in trying to finish it up. I think Vin has disconnected. Yep, it's either he has the or given up. <laughs> yeah, I think he disconnected, he just came back. So there you go, the Vein Crystal has been destroyed and Outlaw is the Outlaw. Yep, it's the winner. These are yep. the items. So uh, Outlaw's episode will be moving to the round of 32 next week. <laughs> this really really short stream, but thank you all of you for watching. If you want more information about tournament, go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash VGSeed. For more info, uh, for our past videos, Past tournament videos, you can go to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash c slash vainglory southeast asia tournament. If you want to help our, tourna our, our tournament and our community, you can donate to our Patreon, patreon.com slash vainglory seat. Follow us on Twitter, vainglory DM. Yep, that's all for tonight. We will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow game will be Down Average versus the C4 Flare at 8 pm. And then we will also be seeing Arden coming in at 9 p.m. and I oh, can't yep. remember who else will be there. <laughs> Do you remember? Uh, yeah, yeah. There will be Stone Average, C4 Flares, Other than Legion, um, Blue Man Cranes, Skylanders, and Foot Fighters. So yep. these are the six teams. Yeah, these are the six teams that will be playing tomorrow. We will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you all of you for watching. Good night and goodbye.